Hi everybody, welcome to Focus Friday where we're talking about where's your attention? What are you paying attention to right now? You know, I had yet another lesson this week in the power of paying attention in every moment. Especially those moments where, you know, you start to daydream and your mind starts to wander and you're doing something and not actually paying attention to what you're doing. You know, here's my story. It, it's pretty funny. So I'm getting dressed to go feed my horses and the dogs are all excited because, you know, it's their evening walk time. So I go to get my feeding clothes and my shoes and my socks and all that and they go bonkers. Now, I have a pattern for how I get dressed, which, by the way, I do not recommend because patterns dull your attention, right? But, you know, I do have them and we all do. So anyway, I put one sock on and then I put a shoe on and then I put another sock on and I put a shoe on, right? So I was getting dressed and I was wandering off. I was thinking about a conversation I'd had that day that didn't go the way I wanted it to. And I was replaying the tapes and grousing at myself and saying, you should have done this or I should have done this and he shouldn't have done this and blah, blah, blah. Right. Um, and by the way, that's a bad thing to allow. I know better, but hey, I'm human. So I wasn't focused. But anyway, my attention was lacking to my purpose, which was getting dressed. So I finished with my right sock and shoe, and I turned and shoe, right? And I turned to get my left sock, and there was no sock. Well, I immediately looked, and there was my shoe, so I went, oh, I must have dropped it. And by the way, there's an expectation. I dropped it, right? So off I go through the house with one shoe on, one sock on, looking around, backtracking every place, and I can't find a sock anywhere. I mean, I went everywhere, and it's not like my house is that huge, because I downsized and I love it. But anyway, the dogs are getting all riled up. They want to go. I'm looking everywhere. I'm frustrated. And now I'm starting to get mad at myself, because I can't even keep two socks together. And then I'm blaming the dogs, because one of them had to take it, and they're hiding it from me. And I'm about to go get another, but I'm really mad at myself. And suddenly I look down, and I see my other sock, because it's on my other foot. <laughs> I variated my very I very eh, I varied my pattern I wasn't paying attention in the moment and I didn't even notice <laughs> that I already had a sock on right so you know there was no sock I expected that I dropped it I varied my pattern which is good for me but I expected myself to do the pattern so I have two expectations and a lack of attention and as a result, I spent over 15 minutes looking for that silly sock, getting mad at myself, riled up at the dogs, and more. That's a simple example of the power of attention to create expectations and of the power of experience, expectations to create your experience. So how much easier would the whole thing have been if I just paid attention in the moment while I was putting on my shoes and my socks, like I did when I was five years old, right? I wouldn't have been grousing about that call. I wouldn't have been creating negative expectations. And I wouldn't have had that whole little hassle. Although I do have to tell you, I laughed pretty hard and it gave me a good chuckle. It's moral of the story, pay attention to your attention. Have a great weekend.